Camp Hi. Festival. Hi, Camp Festival. How are you? Hope everyone's having a great time out in the sun. Lovely weather out here today. It so is, perfect isn't it? for doing a few experiments today, don't Absolutely. you think? Absolutely. My yeah. name, if most of you, I'm sure you know, my name is Silly Stacia. And my name is uh, Bonkers Bertie. And, and together we are Silly, Silly Science. Science. Now, um, you know our names, but we need to know your names, okay? Because you're going to be watching us do your experiments, so we need to hear what who's out there and who's supporting us doing these experiments. So after three, I really want you to shout as loud as you can so everybody down your street can hear your name, what your name is. Okay, you ready for this? One, two, three. Ah, yeah, definitely. I've got I a few there. Yeah, I heard a Karen. Yeah, I've got a Josh. Maisie. Yeah, Maisie. And I've, I heard a Lila. I've got a Lila over there as well. So yes. yeah, excellent. So, uh, Get into the on? festival spirit, absolutely, let's. Okay, today, guys, we're just going to show you a little bit of the show. We've got our first demo is an upside-down cup well, hang on, experiment. there's a bit, there's a few of a crowd gathering over there. I need to disperse them for social distancing to oh. get them, so they're all standing two metres apart. So I'm oh, just going to go and do that, okay? Okay, then, right, that's fine. Whilst he's doing this, I'll just show you. This is an easy one you can try at home. Here, I've just got a little cup, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place some water inside of it like so meanwhile i'm going to need a volunteer so what i need to do anyone out there do you any of you fancy volunteering now i know pick whoa, me, pick me, oh there's pick loads me, of you oh hello here's a nice young lad come on over come on over that's it okay great uh what's your name Nigel. That's my pretend microphone, by the way. Hello, Nigel. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Right, yes, you're famous. You're on Camp Festival Sleepover Weekend. Brilliant. Woo! Wicked. Didn't With have time for science. a shave. Charles. Okay. Oh, that's all right. Teens, eh? Uh, OK. So you... I'm nine. OK, now, are you here with any grown-ups today? Yeah, they're just sat. One's there and one's over there. OK, well, fab. Because, actually, um, what that you should have... Bit of bad parenting there. What you should have told your uh, son here, parents, is that never volunteer for anything unless you know what it is. Ah. <laughs> because, actually, you have volunteered for... To demonstrate what happens when we tip this cup of water upside down on your head. No. Yes. No. Yes, 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 you, yes. I'm going to get wet. Girls, you want him to get wet, don't you? No. Do you? <laughs> no, you don't, do you? I can hear them. They definitely do. Oh. OK, I tell you what, to be kind, I'm going to use this scientific piece of apparatus here. It's a Petri dish. You can do all sorts in this, but we're going to use it as a lid. It doesn't really fit. It's a bit rattly, but is that OK? Do you trust me? Yeah, I've got one question. What's that? Why is there burn marks on my coat? Oh, well, it's just from the last child that we happened to explode during silly science demos. But hey, <laughs> no laughing. <laughs> right, here we go. We've got, I think we'll add a little bit more water to that. No! Guys, you can no! try this at home with a, any kind of cup or glass, but we prefer to use plastic so it doesn't get uh, damage. A camping cup's perfect. It's okay, it doesn't work. So anyway, we know, does anyone know what gravity is? Gravity pulls things down to the earth. So if we tipped a little bit of this water out, gravity pulls it down to the ground. So if I do that over, was it Nigel? Yes. Over Nigel's head here, if I can find my way there. It's, um, I, he's gonna get wet, isn't he? Do you want him to get wet? No! No, you don't, do you? OK, we'll put the lid on top like so. And what we're going to hope is that air pressure is all around us and we're going to see if that will help old Nigel out here. Here we go. It's upside down, guys. You tip it with the lid on, then take your finger away. Now, boys and girls, I don't know if you can see that. Nigel, can you look up above your head? Oh, wow. Now, actually, even though gravity wants to pull that water down, air pressure is all around us at all times. You can't feel it or see it, but it's actually pu pushing upwards, downwards, sideways, and right now it's pushing upwards with a greater force than the water pushing downwards. So what, what you can do with this experiment if you want to change the pressure in the cup, and what you should never do if you want to keep them dry, is you should never squeeze ah! the cup. Ah! Sorry, Nigel. Uh, can someone just uh, help Nigel out here to get dry? Let's give Nigel a great big round of applause. Well done, well done. Uh, oh, sorry about that, Nigel. So cup, Petri dish, or you can use a thin, a thick bit of card or and a pint glass, anything you like. You can do it in the pub with a beer mat if you really fancy, but not that you can go to the pub these days, so especially you kids. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, cup. 
stays on, tips upside down, finger comes off. Hi, God, oh. God that took oh, ages. Where took this ages. Last experiment. Took ages to sort all these people out to be two meters apart from each other. Oh, anyway, I they're know. all it's quite a job, all, isn't it? All, all, all sorted now. So, what are we getting on to next? Then? Okay, well, before that's ready, because it's not quite ready over there, that experiment, we are going to use. We're going to do a little bit of chemistry, boys and girls. Everybody likes explosions, don't you? Yes, we love explosions. Bertie loves explosions. Yes. Okay, what we're going to do is... Do you like explosions? I'll yes. Tell you what, Bertie, should we have a little rocket off? Yes, a rocket off. We're love going to have a little off. blast off between ourselves. I'm going to use so, one of these. Bertie has got a film canister, an ancient artefact. Yeah. Ask your mum and dads about these things. These, uh, wow. Just ask them. Yeah, another science school lesson for at home. And I'm going to use another airtight container. It's just a vitamin C tablet. These are also the ones with zinc in. They're very hard to get at the moment, but you might have one knocking around in the kitchen cupboard. Any airtight container. Okay, I've got one of these. You've got one of those. And you've got these, these out ones. there. We're going to use one tablet. Oh, no, we're going to use half a tablet each. Can okay. I uh, break it in half with Thank my you. brute strength. These are called effervescent tablets. Okay, you may see your parents using one of these in the mornings. Okay. Especially if they've had a bottle of wine the night before. Anyway, right. here we go. Bertie, I'm going to place water probably about half full into my film canister. Um, and I'm going to do the same with yours. Yeah. If you do this at home, you can try it with different levels. Half full. See how, or half empty. <laughs> Let's try and stay half full at half the moment. Full. We need Definitely that positivity. Half full. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to drop our effervescent fizzy tablets inside. Now the chemistry is you've got your solid tablet, you've got your liquid water in there. When you put the two together, when these tablets drop in, they fizz and they create bubbles and those bubbles are a gas called does anybody know what kind of gas it is can i hear i, I think i heard someone carb Car yes you got it carbon you there dioxide. you got it carbon dioxide right, very that is. good there's your okay, lid okay there's my lid you got your lid yeah right we're going to drop them in like so okay going to oh. place the lids on super tight I'm so stand they're... here okay and then have we're going to have a your... we're going to have a countdown we better put our safety goggles on for this oh, yeah safety first kids notice how cool mine are oh so let's go here we Ten, go. Oh no. Nine, no, no. Really? Eight. I'm not ready. Seven, six, six five, four, three, two, two one. one. Now. One. Blast. Oh! And he's blasted off way yes. before mine. Now, I would say nothing is leaking out of mine right now. Nothing. So the pressure is building up. Those carbon dioxide bubbles, or CO2, they are building up inside of this container right now. Now, this is going to shoot off with quite some power when it does go. Hope you've got your goggles on I've there, I've got my Bertie. goggles on. It's like, firework. it's like fireworks, kids. Never go back, OK? So we're going to have to stay here now until this goes off. Oh. Should we have another count? Oh! oh, there it is! <laughs> that was just a bit okay. like a genuine, so, genuine. Should we, we have a vote? There. Should we have a vote? Who who won that one? Who won the rocket off? Was it Silly Stacia with the large rocket, or was it Bonkers Bertie with the mini rocket? Who was the winner? Yes, there oh, it is. Oh, he's hearing things again. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you very much, Camp Best Safety first. Don't forget to wear safety goggles if you true try that, or uh, sunglasses or something, just to protect the eyes in case it does tilt your hand and it squirts straight up in your face. Uh, we don't want any eyes. We don't need any unnecessary trips to the hospital. Right Who now. loves explosions? Yes! Now, any of you guys that have seen us at Camp Festival, you will remember and you will know that our grand finale, without fail, has definitely been, I think we've done 10, is it 10 years we've done at yeah, Camp Festival? I think so. Uh, 10, today, this year would be 11. So, here we go. What we have got, because we're on lockdown, we couldn't find our cola for our cola fountains, so we have got lemonade. Right, that's right. I don't know why cola's been rationed, but hey, along with the toilet paper and a few other things, it seems to be scarce here in uh, sunny Stroud. So, we're at Silly Science HQ. We have got the lemonade. Now, what this is, it's a solid. No, it's a liquid. Yes, that's right. And it also has gas inside, little bubbles called CO2, carbon dioxide. Now, we've got a special little dance for you right now. To remember it, okay. So, Most of you will know this. So, and it goes with a big curly cup. Put you your go. fingers in the air like you just don't care. Everybody out there. Everyone um, at home, we can see you. Yes, yeah, and you and up there. Yes, you down and there. And you down over there. Yeah, come well on, done. no one's too cool for this silly So, here school. we go then. And we go C-O-2.
Okay, let's practice again, because boys and girls, if you practice this and look as cool as us, one day you could be doing this for a living. Absolutely. High Do you know what? There. One day you could be in your back garden, in, sorry, in your silly sites headquarters, doing a show to a phone to you guys to watch at home. Okay, let's go. We're nearly there. It's going to explode. Here we go. We hope so. What we've discovered is some crazy scientists even crazier than us discovered that these mints and only these mints i hope they will give us some sponsorship but they won't but anyway these mints called mentos if you put them under a microscope they actually have the same surface as the moon not exactly but sort of basically they've got lots of little craters inside and inside these craters or nucleation sites when the cola or the fizzy liquid hits that it goes mental get it Bo -bo yeah. oh. Right, I've, okay. got, I've got uh, my geezer tube here. Oh, where'd you get that? I've got it from a geezer off oh. the internet. All right, okay. I'm going to put him on top of the... I'm going to tilt the camera down so they can see what you're doing there, Birdie. So, uh, so, he is putting the tube, the geezer tube, on top of the lemonade. And you can try this with diet lemonade, sugar-free, cola, whatever you like. Put a bit of food colouring in if you want. But just be careful, it does get messy. Just a sec. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to put these mints inside and do a little explosion. Who wants so, to see an explosion? Yeah? Yes, let's go. Let's have okay, the mints Okay, let me try and tilt here. this forward without it. Okay, you got the mints there. How many should we put in? All of them. 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 Oh, I can't hear you. I don't think we should put all of them in personally. But hey, you guys usually want to. There's usually some crazy guy out there who wants all of them, but we don't know. Oh, oh Bertie, he is going. Oh, he dropped one. I'm oh. getting a bit nervous now. Oh, he's shaking. He's right. quivering. We're okay, all that'll in. do. Now, what we want to do here is we're putting the lid on. Now, guys, you can try this at home with a cardboard tube. If you don't have a geezer tube, just roll up a tube, <coughs> make it cardboard, or use a funnel. No, not a funnel, it won't work, but use a tube as a funnel. Drop the mints in, and then, if you are ready, we're going to do this. We're going to need one last countdown. Do you want to come and help us count down over there? Okay, perfect. Just uh, a little live action here while Toddler needs a little... Wait, so, okay. what we're going to do then, we're going to finish off, and we're going to have a countdown now. Can you hear you? Ten, nine, eight. eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, there we oh go. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Can you what? see it? Can you see it? Oh, what an explosion. Can you see the CO2 coming out here now? There's all the bubbles coming out, all the CO2. Guys, our grand finale. If there's nothing else you do today, get your fingers in the air like you just don't care. Give us a C. C o Two. two for silly science have a rocking rest of your day and we'll i hope you've got your tents up in the garden for the sleepover weekend and we will see you at the end of july for a fantastic camp festival, festival. love it Ooh.